All right, welcome back to the program. As you could see there, Dr. Sirajio Salis, the Executive Director now of Jais Bank, is joining me right now. Jais Bank is 10. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much, and it's my pleasure to be here. It has to take 10 years for you guys to exist, for us to speak on the show. Yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations thank on your you, thank tenth, you so much. On your yeah. tenth year. Thank you. Dr. Sirajo, where do we start from? And let me take myself back, memory mm. lane, because I know that I was there mm. many years ago when uh, the concept of Islamic banking was being, you know, milled mm. and um, then Sanusi Lamido Sanusi was the the mm. central bank governor mm. with a mm. lot of other stakeholders. Mm. And in fact, uh, Jai's bank uh, started operations in 2012. Precisely, you opened your doors on January 6, January 2020, uh, 2012. Mm. Ten years this year. How's the? What's the bank's mood right now? Let me start from there because even from your oh, face, I can yeah, see you, you're smiling. Yeah, yeah. Is that I, I how you to, I have feel? to smile because we, we, we have to continue to give glory to God, our Creator, for sustaining us up to this level. Uh, we have not taken anything for, for granted. Uh, we continue to appreciate Nigerians for the patronage. We continue to also appreciate our regulators for holding the hand of that young institution mm -hmm. to stand up uh, for their own understanding. And uh, we, we, we need to rejoice. And we, we are happy and that is why we are here. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it is yeah, all in your yeah, face. I, yeah. Are you saying that the board, the management, and the staff also feels this way that I tell you're you feeling right now? Because I see yeah. the, the, the joy yeah. is really... Yeah, I can't, I can't hide it yeah. because uh, we, 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 are, we are to a greater extent feeling fulfilled. Mm -hmm. We are feeling encouraged, especially when we see other players coming into the non-interest or Islamic yeah. banking, meaning that what you have pioneered is profitable, what you have pioneered is attractive, what we have pioneered is worthy of investing, and uh, we are happy to see other players coming up to join us. You know, let's still go back memory lane, because mm. many years ago, like I said, mm. uh, some of us in the industry did talk about it. I've had several shows on Islamic banking. In that time, mm. a lot of people were so suspicious yeah. about the concept of Islamic. Yeah. People know it popularly as Islamic banking. Yeah. And mm. of course, they had to say, okay, let's coin the language to yeah, yeah. non-interest, mm. non-for-profit, non, yeah. and all of that. Can mm. you really explain the mm. concept mm. of Islamic banking or non-interest banking mm. or interest-free yeah. banking to people yeah. that perhaps are just hearing it for the first time mm. or still do not understand? Ca mm. Can you just explain? Well, uh, thank you so much. But I'm not surprised the way you, you, are, you are so good with the memory of all what has been happening <laughs> and... Uh, uh, that is why maybe you advertise, you want to now be on the street. <laughs> I saw your ad, but personal and business. Yes. We'll we see what we can do and That's encourage. That's We'll see what we can do to encourage the younger ones. So on that misconception, starting with it, you see, uh, glo globally, it is being called Islamic banking. But like you rightly mentioned, when we came to Nigeria, they say, no, let's call it non-interest banking. Because let's of sensibilities. Because of sensibilities. But these are some of the breakthroughs. These are some of the achievements that today we can comfortably stand up and say, look, most of the people that we are propagating for this have been vindicated. It was not an attempt for Islamization. It was not an attempt to introduce some religious businesses, but it was purely business. And people are now beginning to understand, to believe that Islamic banking is purely business. It's a type of banking that is transaction-based. It's a type of banking that is full of transparency. It's a type of banking that is very sincere, very open. It's a type of banking that is full of justice. And nobody, nobody in business wants to be cheated, regardless of where you are from. Do you want to be cheated in your business? Nobody wants to be cheated in his business. And that is Islamic banking. Mm. So um, it's nice that you said all of this because mm. I remember those days. Really, yeah. part of uh, some of us in the industry were like, "Okay, this is not mm. a, this is what it is." Mm. That Nigeria can actually also gain from Islamic financing yeah. across across the world. Mm. But how does the, or how has Jai's Bank been operating in terms mm. of the interest-free mm. model? Can you just explain? Because if you mm. say, "Okay, mm. no interest," mm. how does it work? Uh, mm. Are there charges and all of that? What have you been doing? Your pretty model in the last mm. 10 years. Okay, so th thank you once again. <laughs> you see, the, the financial consequence or the financial implication to the customer is the same. 
we are not an NGO. We are in business to make profit. And we are only saying it is the application of the business that differs. Like my, when we used to educate people to say, when you come to an Islamic bank and you want to finance, let's say you are into the business, you want to buy some laptops and sell. We are not just going to give you credit to your account and give you money, say you want to go and buy laptops. We need to identify where you are buying the laptops from. We need to identify the quality. We need to identify your understanding of the market. We need to identify who is your bando. Then we now pay that bando directly. We need to make sure that you take delivery of those laptops. We need to ask you from the laptop of 1,000, how much are you selling? Maybe you are selling 1,200. And that is the 200 naira that we are going to share. And when we say sh profit sharing, a lot of people think as if we are going to do 50-50. 90-10 is sharing, 99-1 is sharing, 50-50 is also sharing. So depending on our involvement in your business, depending on also your own contribution into that business, will determine the profit sharing. If you enjoy, we enjoy together. If you suffer, we suffer together. And so that is the major difference between Islamic banking and the conventional banking. So the operating model of Jaiz Bank in the last 10 years has been, from mm. your explanation, yeah. you share profit together. If there are losses to you, you bear it together. Definitely. But you make sure that you don't try to get we losses. Sure so from uh, what I can deduce from what you have said now mm. is that you've been with your customers along the way, mm. along the way of the value chain. Is that how you have yeah. been operating in you the last you 10 years? You have gotten it right because you can call Islamic banking also partnership banking. Okay. We take you as a partner, and that is why when you are happy, we are happy. When you are not happy, we shouldn't be happy. Mm. That is the business. Is it just Muslims that you've attended to in the last 10 years? Or it's a, a, a bank mm. for even non-Muslims? You see, that is why we said Islamic banking is purely business. When you now come to our banking halls, you feel as if it's try to attend our AGM or you are invited to our dinner. You think as if you are attending a national conference because you see all sorts of people from different parts of this country. In terms of customer, in terms of staff strength, we are their boss. It's not just for it's not just for Muslims. Not only being a customer or a staff, a non-Muslim can even be a shareholder. Are you surprised? No, I'm not. Uh, because it's, a, it's, it's a matter of money. It's business. Yes. If my intention is to, is to do Islamic banking as a Muslim, is to propagate that, and your own intention as a shareholder is to make profit, so be it. You will be a shareholder and you make your profit. So you can be, in terms of staff, we have Muslims and non-Muslims. In terms of customers, I wish they would be here to give you testimonies. Mm -hmm. You'll be shocked to see the number of people that are patronizing us. And in terms of even the shareholders. Mm. So it's not a, a banking system for Muslims alone. Can you list your achievements for me at least? I know mm. we may not list all of them, but yeah. some of the major achievements at mm. least in the last mm. uh, uh, ten, 10 years, okay. where you've provided value. Yeah. Bef before, wh when because I know you opened with three branches. Yeah. I think Abuja yeah. Kano and Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes. You see, you are so good with this history. <laughs> eh? <laughs> I, 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 there for I, I wish I wish Jais Bank we can afford you. I could have just taken your services. What is, yeah, you, you, you would you ask so me if I'm interested. I, I can't afford <laughs> now that you are even going on the street. I don't even ask how much one needs to pay to register. To register, but, uh, no, it's back affordable. To, coming back, you rightly, as you rightly said, we started with three branches. Mm. We are now 45. 45. And uh, by the grace of God, we are going to close this year with 50 because oh. additional five are already on the way. So and you, you, you had a national license now? Yes, since 2016. Yes, since 2016. Since 2016. Okay, so, so at the end of this year, you close out with 50, with branches, 50 branches across the country? Across the country. Okay. Yeah. What other numbers, what other achievements? So you, you see, what, when, when you are talking of uh, achievement, let me, let me start uh, this way. We, we, we regard it, uh, we, we call it an achievement because uh, today that misconceptions of 10, 20 years back, Islamic banking, what is it for? It's no more there. Mm. And that is why you now have additional Islamic bank registered quietly. Yes. Nobody is even more. aware. Yes, now. And more are still coming. Mm. So we see that as an achievement that we have facilitated the coming of others. 
we have smoothed so the way busy. for others to come. Mm. And that is why we are so proud to be the pioneers. So that one is, a, is an mm. achievement. Now, if you look at it in terms of licensing, it took Jai East Bank over 12 years to obtain a license. Now you can get a license for Islamic banking within one to three years. That also is an achievement to us because we have smoothened the way for others to, to come. In terms of uh, employment, overall we have over 2,000 staff strengths, both direct and indirect. So you imagine a young institution taking care of 2,000 families. When you started, what, what was the staff strength? Do you have an idea? Around when, when you started? 50, okay. 50 something. Okay. And now you are talking of over 2,000. Now, when you are talking of balance sheet size, yeah. I know that is where yes, you want to... Yes, because I was coming to numbers. Is it, let's, is, take, is let's it, talk the numbers. Oh, is it easy for any organization to grow in Nigeria at double digits? We have been growing at double digit in almost all parameters for six conductive years. What's the double digit? Is it in tens or in twenties? In tens. Ten okay. Which is still not easy. Yes, I know. In terms of balance sheet size, we have moved from 12 billion to 300 billion balance sheet size. In terms of deposit, we are over 200 billion naira in deposit. In terms of customer base, we have moved from number one customer to over a million customers. In terms of financing, now we have financed over 200 billion naira direct. And we have invested at a point over 80 billion in federal school, which all Nigerians are enjoying. Okay, so that brings me now to the sectors mm. where Jai's Bank has been financing. What areas of the economy mm. are you that are you concentrated on, or is the bank mm. biased to in terms of is it agriculture, is it real mm. estate, is it? Because mm. I know that you guys also build houses or yeah. follow people to build houses. I don't know that. Yeah. But I what, hope what you have gotten one. Okay, if not you have from not Jais. One, not from Jais. Yes, okay, yes. I tell you, in terms of mortgage, mm. in terms of mortgage, we are among the top banks in Nigeria. I could say we are mm. number two, so that I will leave you to struggle to get who is number, number one. one. <laughs> in Abuja here, we are talking of. In Abuja here, yes. we are talking of over ten thousand houses delivered to your customers. Or how do that, you do it? That we, we finance together with our developers. Okay, okay, okay. So we are. I can say we are into that real estate. In terms of market development, in terms of shops, the physical shops that we delivered also over ten thousand. And I can challenge you. You go and check the record. Where do you see? Where do you get that? And that's why we can take number two for this, so that you go and look for the number one. That's a very smart one. Well, in terms of SME, yes, I was small to that. and media enterprises, mm. we have invested over 60 billion in terms of financing. Especially in the last three years, when COVID was trying to disgrace us, we decided to say, look, what can we do? What do we contribute? And we deliberately scaled down some of the conditions and we finance people and we are not disappointed. So in terms of that SME, when you talk of agriculture, we have invested over 75 billion naira in, agri in agriculture. In what area? Is it the rice uh, production or what, what areas of agriculture? Well, when you talk of even the popular or rice. Or animal husbandry or whatever. Both, but uh, okay. specifically when you mention the, the rice mills, we, we have been involved in the construction of this rice mills from scratch of over 35. Is it in Abuja across the country across. or across where across. the rice belts are? Across, okay. over 35. And I can also tell you which bank will you now get that record? 35, over 35 solid factories and that we are working with them together as partners. So you see, and that is why we are here to celebrate that 10 years to share with people like you, to tell the whole world. Mm. And I, fel I felicitate with yeah. you. Mm. I also fel felicitate with the regulator, Central yeah. Bank of Nigeria. Mm. I'm not their spokesperson. Yeah. But I also know a lot of work went on there many years ago. Many. You know, Islamic mm. banking. Um, I'm a bit happy mm. that this journey, mm. you know, that we're all alive to see yeah. that at least the pioneer bank that was licensed at that time mm, yeah. can come and celebrate a decade la yeah. later. Mm. But you were talking about sectors, and mm. I may be biased this mm. morning. Okay. Is Jai's bank contributing mm. to like women development, women empowerment, 
uh, do you also finance like women-owned businesses? You see, w w when we are talking of uh, financial inclusion, yes, that's why I asked. We try to look at and say sentimentally, what can we do? So we have what we call JAPIC, JIS Financial Inclusion Centers, okay. and we have some pilot branches that specifically or mostly we are dealing with women. Okay. And today. I'm not saying the men are not good when it comes to that, but we have recorded the lowest non-performing in that sector. It's not just the Bank, it's this. globally. Women, we don't like owing, we pay back. Yeah. We are very good. Mm. We, d we are not debt yeah. owners. Thanks, we commend you for that. So I tell you, in terms of financial inclusions, mm. we have some centers that we dedicated specifically for the women and they are doing wonderfully well. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I know that your bank's mission is to improve lives through mm -hmm. uh, ethical finance. Mm -hmm. um, if we take a look at the last 10 years, yeah. how would you say that your bank has contributed mm -hmm. uh, to mm -hmm. the economic development of Nigeria since you're a pioneer? Yeah. I know all what you've been reading out is also contribution, yeah. Yeah. but are there other things that you can specifically point out yeah, you, you, you see, when you say you want to make life better, you, st you, you are starting with the provision of an alternative. The, our model of banking is an alternative to a conventional banking that has been with us for hundreds of years. So the mere fact that somebody is coming with an alternative, a very competitive alternative, is also something we are very proud of. Now, that alternative, and that is why we don't see other Islamic banks as competitors. Mm. Because the sky, as they usually say, is too wide for the stars to clash. So we don't see other Islamic uh, but we see the general banking sector as where we are competing because we are providing an alternative banking. We are providing something that is much more attractive. We are providing a type of business that you can feel it that your bank is your partner. We are not only providing you with a credit where the business is bad, that even if when you are inside your grip, the interest will continue to accumulate. But we are providing a type of business that you can touch, you can feel. It's very physical that we are together with you. If you are happy, we are happy because we are sharing profit. So these are things that we can say in the last 10 years we have, we have actually achieved. And it's, it's, it's not easy for young people around and you are, you, are, you are giving them support in terms of financing. You are, you are, you are encouraging them to not to be on the street, but to actually be productive, to be employers of their own label to also feel as if, yes, we are very proud to be Nigerians and we can, we can do this. Mm. What's, what came to my mind now mm. is um, Sukuk bonds. Mm. Uh, the, the FG at the time yeah. floated the Sukuk bond, yeah. and all of, which is Islamic yeah. bonds, mm. you know. Those are mm. uh, Islamic finance terms, mm. you know, Sukuk bonds. Mm. Uh, was mm. Jai's bank part of how did you? Yeah, y you see, uh, I don't want to go into the, but let's be very specific. The money that federal government attracted through Skook, mm. every Nigerian now, we can tell you that he has seen where the money went. Because when you went into road construction, you have to identify that from point A to point B, we are using Skook money to do this, which all Nigerians can testify that at least when you travel, you, you see, see the scook sign and you see the road. And that is also, so in that scook, at a point we invested close to 100 billion in that scook, which was used to do the road construction, which all Nigerians are now seeing. Mm. Okay, I'm also interested in uh, sectors such as non-oil exports. Mm. Uh, I don't know how far you are perhaps helping or yeah. partnering with your customers because yeah. there is the clamor right now that yeah. we need to move yeah. from oil yeah. to non-oil. But you, I, I, I hope you now agree with me that I wish we can afford your services. 
Because Why? You, you, you are touching areas that we, 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 <laughs> we, we, are, we are already into or we are planning to expand. Because for, for us to be in business without looking into the non-oil export, it's like we are not telling ourselves the truth. Mm. We need to encourage non-oil export because this country is so blessed. You have quite an appreciable number of items that you can export. Some things that you don't even imagine when you export, people are looking for it there. And the more you export, the more you lessen the burden on the Nera. Because yeah. there's you so much foreign exchange. Now on there. So yeah. no matter how little you do a business that will bring a foreign exchange, we are into it. And that is why we have a specific DEX that is for export. And we are even trying to expand that DEX to see what we can do. Are you aware that uh, come December 2022, all the support of this Forex that is coming from the central bank is going to stop? Yes, the so governor the earlier, mentioned it so earlier this year, that the banks will go sort out, sort yeah. their own FX. So the only way out is now to try to encourage this export. And I wish part of your students, we can partner with mm. one, two, three, four, five, up to ten. So you all are listening right now. Yeah. You should be in that program next month, September yeah. mm. 17, Pabam. For those of you small, mm. because at least my, mm. uh, my vision too is because I've also noticed the gap that no one is listening to nano, mm. s micro and small businesses in Nigeria. Mm. And they do make up a very large chunk, mm. about 84% yeah. mm. of jobs and 96% mm. of employment. So see you there September 7th mm -hmm. and perhaps Jais Bank you've heard yeah. it from mm -hmm. your mouth. Mm -hmm. Now let's take a look at um, okay since we're talking about non-oil export what came to my mind mm. is the central bank of Nigeria launched the RT 200 billion yeah. program I don't know if that's to generate yeah. mm. FX. Yeah. Is, is Jais Bank also part of this yeah, with your non-oil export yeah, we, desk? Mm. We, 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 we are also part of it because anything coming from the central bank is something that is, is, is coming from the family. We need to see how we, will, how we support it and make it work. Because that uh, good policy is to now encourage people to bring in the, the FX here and uh, see how we can utilize it and cushion the pressure that we are now putting on the, on the NERA. Mm. Okay. Let's take a look at uh, your vision of uh, building the second largest non-interest bank mm. in sub-Saharan Africa in 10 years. Have yeah. you been able to achieve it or is it still a, a journey? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a journey, it's a vision, but you, 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 need, to, you need to be up to help. Uh, Nigeria is so blessed in all ramifications. You now, when you get out of this country, you discover the market you are going to look for is already here with you. So why should you quickly venture out when you have not taken care of your own immediate environment? We are trying to see how we, how we, how we strengthen ourselves locally. We are also trying to see how we expand on the acceptability. We are trying to see <coughs> how we capture more of the Nigerian market. So we now begin to think of going outside. Mm. Okay, mm. so is your vision part of perhaps mm. going to other parts of Africa? Yeah. Or what how we, how would you, okay, to what mm. extent will you capture Nigeria before you start thinking of Africa? Now you said mm. by the end of this year you have mm. 50 branches. Yeah. Uh, to what extent do you want to capture Nigeria then you move into perhaps other mm. uh, African countries? It's, 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 w it's not with a specific timeline okay. or to say one year, two years or three years, but it's, it's part of our plan. And we are trying, like I said, is let us be strong at home, and that will push us to now begin to look at other markets. Mm. Mm. Okay, w uh, what has return for shareholders been like? Which is bank? I'm talking to Nancy, uh, money line. <laughs> <laughs> what have you reported <laughs> last year? <laughs> I least. know that you do your AGMs and co, but at least for people to yeah. to hear, what has it been yeah. like? report to, to your shareholders, yeah. perhaps in terms of numbers and mm. all of that? You see, uh, in, in, in terms of percentage, we, when you look at the report from uh, Nera Matrix, you now see Jair Isban was among the top in terms of uh, 
shareholders value. Uh, in the last uh, two years, we have started to pay dividend, and by the grace of God, this will be the third one we are paying, and uh, we hope to maintain it. Mm. So, yeah. at least shareholders value yeah. has been increased Very well. in the last three years. Yes. That's what you're saying. You did say earlier that you are not so particular about uh, competitors, and I want to go back to that. Okay. Uh, mm. you are not uh, you are not afraid of competitors because there have been some competitors coming no. into your sector why, why, I why don't want to call names yeah. but when you say like I mentioned uh, the sky yeah it's big enough it's big enough it's too wide for stars to, to, to clash collide. and we are not if you also recall I say we have never taken anything for granted so we are not saying the competitors coming into this field they are not relevant they are not a threat to us, or we are not. We are unmindful of them. No, we are very mindful of no matter how small a competitor is. But we are saying, when you are in a relay and you begin to look at side by side, you are likely to be distracted. We are already looking at the larger Nigeria. We are already looking at those conventional banks that have been in business for over a hundred years, and we are saying they are our target. And we are also looking at Nigeria in general. After today, if you look at the number of people excluded financially, even if you try to capture those and you put them into, the, into your customer base, it's also another budget market that you can tap into. So we are so blessed is depending on where you are looking at. That, former, that initial statement was to tell you we are not going to be distracted in any way by the activity of any competitor. Meanwhile, those people that I know you are talking that you are calling competitors, mm. we paved the way for them to come because we became very profitable. Mm. We attracted them into the business. The, 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 the way it took us over 12 years to get a license, some people are now getting a license in a very short period of time. So we see that as even achievement to us. And that is why we said the banking industry in general we are playing into that industry. We are not limiting ourselves to say we are only an Islamic bank and we begin to look at some Muslim communities. No, we are going into the larger society to play. Okay. I want to be a bit specific here and I don't know mm -hmm. if you can with me in terms of, I know banks who have products and all of that. Are mm -hmm. there some specific products that you might have created over the last 10 years that your customers like and have been yeah. helping you to be profitable. Mm -hmm. I know there's also mm -hmm. been a uh, clamor for like micro insurance, Takaful mm -hmm. and, and, and mm -hmm. what have you, which yeah. uh, even the insurance regulator mm -hmm. has been trying to promote, mm -hmm. uh, even pensions, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. because they're also v variables mm -hmm. in the Islamic yeah. space yeah. too. Yeah, so th 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 thank you very much. You see, uh, there is no bank that can operate without products. And uh, if, le let me be specific on the, the, the bottom of the pyramid structure where we have products relating to the SMEs, okay. where we have uh, an auto finance product that will facilitate people to buy vehicles, where we have mortgage facilities, where we have special product that talks about leasing, where we have not only leasing, we can even lease service, we call it Ijara service. Now you are looking for uh, some of these are students and you have about 2,000 of them that are very interested, but unfortunately they cannot afford to pay your registration fees. That is a way we can sit down, package it and see how do we finance them to pay those registration fees so that even when they graduate, we now see how do we help them and they pay gradually. We, you, you can now think of somebody, somebody that is looking for, uh, to pay for medical services. And we now see, okay, how do we come up because you have a product that support that. We have a product that support the payment of school fees. These are all services that you are looking. And when you now go up the ladder, we have product that will facilitate for you to acquire machineries. We have product that will facilitate for you to import. We have product that will relate to export. So like I said, no bank can operate without such products. And we have quite a number of them depending on the sector. When it comes to education, we also have fantastic products that will enable you, whether you are a school owner or you are now just a, a, a service provider, uh, and we can support that also. Mm. 
Okay, let's take a look at the outlook uh, for the non-interest or uh, interest-free mm. finance mm. in Nigeria. Since mm. you are the pioneer in that space, mm. uh, what can you see? The future is it is it mm. bright? Very bright. Look into your crystal ball. See my crystal ball there. Take a look at it. Is it bright? I am sure <laughs> even you can see that it's bright. <laughs> These are my studio lights. To the extent that you can't even look at it very well because it's bright. Mm -hmm. The future of non-interest banking in Nigeria is bright. And you can see the way people are, the, the acceptability. And that is why we are, we are doing it with passion. We are doing it with joy. Especially that now we have crossed that hurdle of the Islamization of a team. Nobody is talking about it now. So you think you've totally crossed it? Or is there's still some kind is of suspicion? It, is it the, 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 the suspicion relating to that, I can tell you, is over. Over in the sense that, were you aware when two or three Islamic banks were licensed in Nigeria? Mm. Quietly. They were registered, they are licensed, and they are in business, and they are doing very good. So the suspicion about, because I remember those days, it was like, oh, no, mm. Islamic banking is a ploy to Islamize Nigeria. Nigeria. So yeah. are you saying that that suspicion is gone? Or it's about the suspicion mm. of, uh, no, they don't know how Islamic banking works. Thank you so much. So which one are you operating on? Is or talking about? Is the, the, the lack of that awareness. Awareness. Is That's the where lack people like awareness. you, your bank should also... Yeah. And do more about that communication. awareness, we are not saying 100% is gone, but it has gone substantially. Okay. Substantially to the extent that some other Islamic banks can be registered, you only see their offices commencing or starting operation. That enough is something that is encouraging. And I tell you, many more are coming. And the more you have those players the more we begin to provide the alternative to Nigerians and the more we begin to see as a real competitor to the banking uh, family. So that is why right from day one, we have not limited ourselves as an Islamic bank. We say we are providing a banking service because when you go to the market, rain, does rain discriminate? When rain is falling, it falls, it falls on, on everybody's everybody. head. And when you enter into the market, like my MD used to say, when you enter into the market to buy something, it doesn't know. You look at the quality, yes. you look at the price, you look at the service. Maybe you even look at the smile of Nancy before you patronize. You get. So these are some of the things that are already encouraging us to say, look, don't see us just as Islamic bank, but look at the service. In terms of technology now today, there is mm -hmm. no bank that can thrive ignoring that. I was coming to that. We are investing into that already. In terms of technology, digital banking, yeah. and the future of banking. Yeah moving forward. I don't know mm. what is your idea, Jai's mm. Bank's mm. idea in terms mm. of technology moving forward because you're also competing with the bigger banks. Yeah. The very big yeah. banks. But the technology is the same. It's the same. The yes. platform is the same. It's the same. If but they have you, more money. You they want have more money more than you. Uh, but uh, one thing with technology is when you, you, you can buy a, a handset of one million and I buy a handset of hundred thousand and we chat. That's a smart one. <laughs> because you can download the same apps yeah. on the 1 million naira phone and yeah. the 50,000 naira mm. phone. So what we are saying is, yes, technology is very expensive, but it's something that we have a lot of people now providing it. The only thing is you have to be very careful who are your partners in terms of technology, how reliable it is, so that you need to give comfort to your customers. You don't want to be seen using a technology that can be attacked easily. You don't want to be seen using a technology that cannot provide that comfort inside the bedroom for people to do their banking businesses. In so far as you can provide that, then you are good for the business and you can't avoid it. As I usually call it, it's a necessary evil. It has to. Okay. Okay, I think we will take a break now. And when mm. we come back from the break, we'll be rounding off and okay. I'll be yeah. uh, telling, asking you again to check into the crystal ball and tell me mm. uh, what it will be like for the next 10 years for you mm. guys. Mm. Let's quickly take this uh, break uh, so that we can take our other... Uh, yes, so that we can all take our other messages. <laughs> we'll be right back. Do you want to live your life financially free? Do you want to take your business to the next level and succeed? 
Dan, the time is now. Morning Line with Nancy on AIT presents the Personal and Business Acceleration Masterclass, a live conference geared at revealing top secrets by elite business experts and life coaches in Nigeria on ways to improve yourself, business, and create wealth. Date, Saturday, 17 September 2022, venue, Nigerian Export Promotion Council, plot 424. Aguinyi Rose Street, Meitama Abuja. Time, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. To register, visit www.moneylinewithnancy.com slash pabam. For more inquiries and sponsorships, contact 0814-833-9088 or 0906-691-2600 and info at moneylinewithnancy.com. Don't miss this opportunity to greatness. All right, um, just as we uh, try to round up, I've been uh, speaking with Dr. Siraj Usalisu, the Executive Director North at uh, Jais Bank. We've been looking at Jais Bank at 10. Um, okay, the ED is here. I'm not your spokesperson. So at least in the last few minutes, we've been talking <laughs> about uh, Jais mm. Bank. For those that are just joining us, can you just use one minute to talk about, mm. you know, why we're talking about this then? Mm. I... Uh, you know, come to the end of... Yeah, uh, we, have, we have been talking about uh, our celebration for the 10 years, mm -hmm. which uh, we will continue to appreciate all Nigerians for the patronage, and we continue to tell people that uh, uh, this young institution is now beginning to see that uh, things are as good as expected. But we still have a very long way to go. We are not saying we have already arrived. We are just starting. And uh, we will continue to, to do our best to, to contribute into the national development. And we also, most importantly, using this Islamic banking to unify the country. Because we are in places that you don't expect us to be. And we are in places in the process of uh, giving an explanation. Then you try to let people understand what you have been thinking is not what it is. We are here for business, and your business is even going to thrive. Your business is likely to be more profitable. <laughs> your business is likely to be more open when you partner, you partner with us. Okay, what, what do you mean by saying that you're in places where I think you're not? Yeah, because... Because uh, some people will think that you're really biased to perhaps not in states, that that is where your markets yeah. are. When you, when, you, when, you, when, when you look at some areas that... Uh, uh, we, we are already in Patakot, and we have been in Patakot since 2016. It's part of our plan very soon to be in most part of the Northeast. I didn't want to mention uh, the specific areas, but we have three places that we are already in a very high discussion now. We want to be there. And uh, when you look at uh, the, the, the customer base, you will now see that, uh, like I mentioned, when you come to our functions, you think as if you are in a national conference because we are, we are open to everybody. Okay, so you'll be doing a celebration? 10 years, yes. 10 years, when? when? Monday. On Monday. And Tuesday. The AGM is on Tuesday. It's the AGM is on Tuesday. Yeah. And, and if we didn't see you there, it means something else. <laughs> we need to be there. That's a threat on national television. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be there. <laughs> Mm. Okay, I'll try and be there. Thank you. Now, le let's take a look at uh, the next decade, yeah. Jai's Bank at, mm. at, at 20, yeah. what it will look like. Uh, I hope that we'll all be alive by God's mm. grace then, yeah. also to talk about Jai's Bank at 20. Yeah. What will it be like? Thank you so much for this because some people actually sacrifice their time, their resources for us to come here and do 10 year celebration. We that are at the moment taking charge will also make sure that we continue to build on their successes. And these successes could be in terms of services, could be in terms of capacity building, could be in terms of uh, business expansion, so that people that will come behind us will also be here to celebrate and say, look, we have come a long way. We are not talking of uh, 10, 20 years. We are talking of for a very long period of time to come. We, we are very mindful of the fact that in 
most part of Africa businesses doesn't last longer. But the way we established this, we did it to be in a very sustainable way. So we are looking at the next 10 years by the special grace of God to be very bright, very, uh, uh, the opportunities are so wide that uh, we will continue to, to, to grow. We are not likely to be talking of 50 branches and I will not give you number of branches because every day the model is changing. If it is in those years that the strength of your bank is dependent on the number of branches. Of branches. Now it might, not be it might not be. Because of yeah. the digital banking and all of that, yeah. banking halls, some banks are even closing are closing branches. branches. Yeah. It's just about the reach out. So we are talking of, in terms of customer base, one million, you are looking at the multiple of it because uh, verifiably, you can see that we have been growing uh, uh, consecutively at that double digit like I, I, I mentioned. Okay, just uh, before we round up, mm. what came to my mind also now is the mm. development of fintechs. Mm. This fintech apps, yeah. is, it <laughs> mm. is it a threat to you guys? No, you see, uh, if you say it's not per se a threat, but it's a challenge. Challenge in the sense that uh, when somebody comes with something new, and you see him trying to push you out of business, naturally you have to react. Okay. And the reaction here is either you are ahead of him in terms of service provision, or he is ahead of you. And when the competition is ahead of you, you are indirectly like saying you have given up, you are out of business. So we didn't see them as a threat, but we see them as a challenge. And we are standing up to those challenges to see how we remain in perfect business in terms of service provision. Okay, just before we go, there's a mm. comment coming in from uh, mm. Dan Juma, and he says, mm. can you give some clarification on the just main market that Jai's bank promised to rehabilitate at a sum of 10 billion naira for 40 years, uh, bringing some opera in the state? I don't know if we, you have, yes, we, 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 to we, see that people are watching. Yeah, and we, I, I, we, I appreciate this. We are here discussing result. Mm. We are here celebrating achievement. We are not here to discuss effort. Oh. So you are evading it. So another time we'll discuss efforts. Try to get it. We are here discussing achievement. Achievements. We are here discussing results. We are not on this table discussing efforts. Mm. Okay. Let me just allow it slide. Mm. That after the show we'll talk about Thank that. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very, very mm. much uh, mm. for uh, coming. I think we've exhausted like almost everything we want to yeah. talk about, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Or is there any other thing you want to say? You know, is uh, we 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 I, I have to personally appreciate you. Uh, you when I say personally, I mean you, Nancy, and person because you have faithfully remained with this money line for a very long period of time. Not so many people achieve that, Thank and you. that is meaning that you believe in it and you continue. And we also join you in prayer that God will sustain you and will see you through. Amen. And you are also coming with some beautiful product that that is nothing wrong that we partner and see how we may be, because we are always looking for a win-win situation. Like I said, we are not an NGO. We are here to make profit. I have seen today in that you are at bad that is a way we can partner with you and we also make profit. And Fantastic. we are going to do that. So mm. all of you should see you in September. Yeah. Jais Bank partnering with us. You've heard it from mm. the mouth of the ED. This is coming as a surprise to me. Yeah. You know, it's mm. not something that we plan. So thank you very yeah, much. We'll talk about that. Yeah. For the Personal and Business Acceleration Masterclass, which Money Line with Nancy has put together, and why we did put it together is because we've noticed that there's a gap. There is no one standing for the nano, micro, and small businesses. And this show has come to do that. In terms of the knowledge, you need to even know stuff about personal finance, how to keep up with your business, especially in this period. And we're assembling a great team of speakers that will be there with me on the 17th of September 2022. All we need right now is for you to register. And I'm hoping also that you will get to mm. hear more from Jais Bank yeah. and how they will partner with your business for profit. Mm. So go to the website right now and register. Very shikini money. If you go there, you will just see that it's something mm. like a CSR from this show to you. So thank you again. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. I've been speaking with Dr. Yeah. Sirajo Salisu, Executive Director North at Jais Bank, Jais Bank at 10. That's the much you can take 
on the show at today. I will see you all again tomorrow. God willing, be the best it can be and be that change that you want to see. I am Nancy Naji. Bye for now.